Now back to the Voynich manuscript and it's winter and to keep my mind busy I'm trying to look at this other mystery and see if I can see any patterns. Now this is one page with a plant on it but if you'll just look at the writing from right at this angle and we don't know what it says or anything but if you look at the light in the dark you'll see a pattern where the writing has a number of symbols which I believe are hieroglyphs and I believe each um, each set of these hieroglyphs just like uh, Egyptian symbols means something but you'll notice that uh, all the eights there's a soft eight and a hard eight you, you notice this uh, emblem up here on the very end of the first set is the same as this one right here and the two has three different variations right here bottom of the two is done the whole two is normal then we have one with the top of the two done and then there is another it's like a two but it's an S now let's let, let's just say that the person that or whoever did this was very very good at writing they knew exactly what they were doing this is interesting as far as green and blue appear a lot in the writings and this appears to be uh, looks like a sun with a human face on it or a, a homo sapien face and these green stars are interesting because they may denote um, life on other planets if this is a star map which I don't know but all I can say is I don't believe a human hand wrote this and if you look at the stars and if you count the the spikes on the stars they all look like they're deliberate like it's not just an accident now if we go to this next page here I'll show you what I mean let's see if I can get this Oh, look at that. There we go. Come on. Come on. Almost. I wish I could work a computer better. All right, now if we look at this next map, as I like to call it, this looks almost like a moon and this looks like a sun but the interesting part is the stars and this pattern keeps repeating itself we have little black dots on these two which is I, you rarely see but there's other stars where you'll notice it is filled in with color or okay but there is no dots in them and then some do have dots in them now what if that isn't by accident? And if this is a map of the stars and they show other life then that could be great. And if you notice the writing up here, the hard and the soft. Who knows? Who knows what it means? Now this one, and for some reason they like they really like doing circles. This is one thing I was wondering about. This shows two fish-like creatures with um, blue lines coming off them. Now the interesting part is that if you'll notice that out of its mouth has a line that comes and it comes all the way around and goes to this star. This one has a line that goes to this star. Now what's interesting is I'm going, okay, 
some of the pictures show these ladies here with a line going to the star. Other pictures show let's see if I can find one. Matter of fact, this one, all of them have that on that one. Except, well, yeah, it's, they all do. On this one. Now, what I'm thinking is that these ladies, or whatever they are, and these different, all these barrels are different. They're all different designs, and that may denote something. And the inner design, they're all the same. But what I'm thinking is that the, um, the lines to the stars could mean that that's where these people are headed. But they haven't got there yet. All right, and here's another one where this is one where uh, the, the men are clothed. And if you'll notice that every one of these men, okay, they're touching the star. There's no line to them. And all the stars are different patterns. And some have a dot in them, some don't. And there's a girl there and a girl there. None of these characters have ears on them. And this animal right here in the middle, that looks like something that would, a uh, four-legged creature. But I've never seen anything like that in, the, in our history. And I don't know what it's doing. Now here's a third one right here. Now this third symbol, this has a lion or something in it. But it also, out of its mouth, it has a line that goes up and to the other side here to a star figure. Now the one thing I've noticed about these women is that they're always shown in the right or left profile. Or in some of the pages they're shown supine laying down okay but there is never one of these pictures showing one of these ladies from behind now if you figured that uh, if this guy was a or if it was a human guy and he was drawing pictures of ladies that he would um, and if you're a guy and you admire you know the female figure you you'd get to see all sides but there is none. It doesn't show these ladies from the back at all. And they're either on uh, either on right or left profile. And I don't know what that is. But that is the same thing. It goes to the star. It isn't there yet. They may have been seeding the stars. And here we have the, um, here we have a, a lot of writing here. If you'll notice the hard and the soft writing, and if you look at the pattern, you'll see like this is a two right here. That's not a two. That is a, there's a the same same one up here and right next to it is the two with the hard hard tail on it. And this pattern seems to go. The first symbol goes halfway over. This symbol goes all the way over. And that may denote that that uh, the first symbol is a subject, and the rest follow the subject. I don't know. I mean, that's 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 the great thing about the mystery. But the same exact patterns. Are shown and the women are always shown on the left or the right they have no ears and all of them have very thick necks
Okay, I'm getting part two.